Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews. It's been a while, but today we're going to have a look at a lightsaber. And this time it is the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Mace Windu Legacy Lightsaber Set. Let's have a look. Angry Andy! Angry Andy Reviews! Angry Andy! Okay, so I've decanted the box, um, so let's run through what you get in that box. To start with, you get some nice, helpful piece of paper, um, yeah, which is always great, I love them. Um, you do get a lightsaber belt clip, um, so if you are planning on cosplaying the hilt, um, this saber comes with the blade which you can detach, so if you are one of those cosplayers, um, who likes showcasing the sabers on their belts or what have you if you're taking this to one of the Disney parks or something you can utilize this with you and it just quite simply just clips on over the belt and job done you also get a nice lovely blade I'll just pull back um, this is about 36 inches in total when you attach it to the uh, saber itself um, for the purpose of display today I'm going to be using a slightly smaller one um, there you go, and this is a, a Galaxy's Edge one uh, that I picked up, so I'm going to be utilising this just to showcase it, so we'll get rid of that. Oh. You of course get um, a stand with it as well, now I don't like this stand, this is very very flimsy, I don't like it, the sabre doesn't really sit that well in it, I'm going to be quite honest with you, and it's a stark contrast to the, um, let's say the, the Elite series um the Hasbro Elite series uh, lightsabers um where they've got a metal stand and it feels weighty it feels like it sits in there nicely they craft the 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 bottom of the the hilt section um to sit specifically within um each of the stands and this one's just a generic piece of plastic garbage it's, there's no weight to it at all i mean it wobbles something fierce look at the state of that and that's without any weight in it and considering these sabers can be quite weighty that's not great, but alas, I've got nothing else really to display it on at the moment, so there you go. Um, but we'll get, get to that in a moment, but let's get to what we're actually here for, shall we? So, here it is. Here is Mace Windu's lightsaber hilt. Um, lovely black um, rubber um, gold chrome effect. It's really, really nice. Um, it feels nice in the, in the hand as well. It doesn't feel... It does feel weighty, there's a weight to it, there's a heft to it, but overall that is really quite nice. Let's get a bit close up, and um, we'll try and get this to work. Uh, there we go, so you can see some of the details on the upper section of the hilt ne near to the emitter, um, which is really, really great. You've got the same sort of detailing right at the bottom as well. Let's see if that picks up. I don't think it will, but the same sort of detailing is there on the, the base of the hilt as well. Um, but it's these grips here, I like these grips, they go all the way around. Um, it does feel really nice in the grip as well. You've got a cover tech wheel there, so I'll showcase this belt clip. So if you were to use this for um, cosplay effect, you would simply slide it in, and there you go, it holds itself in quite nicely. This actually, weirdly enough, this belt clip feels more stable than this friggin' stand does. Um, but there you go. It's again. It's not. It's not um, the best sort of product in the world. There are better um, lightsaber belt clips out there. I think the Galaxy's Edge one itself is actually a lot better than this. Um, but there you go. And you can you can buy separate seller ones. I'm sure which are a lot more weighty, which will give you a lot more stability. But that it sits perfectly fine. I mean, it's not going to change the world or anything, but it sits perfectly fine. You can quite simply, just press it and slide it out. Job done. Um, it does come with a little bit of a cover there, so if you want to display this, you just put the cover on as it is. Otherwise, you're just exposing the innards, uh, the metal connectors, and everything there. So just hover that over. Um, quite simply, the the batteries sit in this section here. I'll just show them for you. 
and there you go and it needs three triple A's batteries were included in this but initially when I picked it up when I received it um, I thought there was something wrong with the actual saber itself because I activated it and it just kept flashing like a red um, a red sort of flashing effect down the base of the blade itself so I thought there was either something wrong with the blade or something wrong with the saber I tried a different blade still the same thing so obviously a bit of panic set in then but it just turned out the batteries in that were provided were fucking dead <laughs> so there you go uh, so yeah replace the battery straight away no issues at all get yourself some nice uh, wait I'm not sponsored by anyone but get yourself some nice energizers some Duracells whichever and then you've got no issues at all quite simply screws back on nice and simple you get a nice lovely effect there so the speaker for the Sabre is right there at the bottom in the middle of this gold effect just on the on the face of it oh my camera went a bit funky then good lap the PCs on the way out by the way so there we go <laughs> but there like we'll say battery effect there um, speaker effects right at the bottom there they come out there but just for the Sabre as a whole I think it's a really nice looking Sabre it's one of the best out there I think in terms of looks reminds me very much of Dooku Sabre which I've got on the wall there the nice shiny chrome effect but obviously you've got the different textures here with the rubber especially on this bit I really like this bit here I'm um, trying to mask my face so you can see it. I really like that effect, that design there. It's very unique, gives it a sense of its own sort of character, um, which is really, really nice. And these grips around the edge here are just are great. Uh, with that, you do feel like you're in complete control of it. You know, you don't feel like it's going to fly out of your hand or you're going to drop it. As long as you've got hold of that, it's it's great. It's not going to go anywhere. So let's get to the point. Let's take out the cover. There it is. Just a bog standard piece of plastic really and just get the blade in it'll make a noise when you put it in let's see that there you go <coughs> you twist it to connect it job done and the emitter switch which is nicely hidden i think on the saber some of the some of these legacy sabers and um, they're not really <laughs> not really well hidden or well positioned but here it's exactly where you would hope it would be right in the middle here this button here so just there you go and to deactivate it quite simply just slide it back and I like that it keeps the design sleek it keeps it compact in a way you're not it is not some random sticking out button here on or on the other side and you don't feel like you're gonna accidentally turn it off when you when you activate it or accidentally turn it on for that matter um, so yeah I think it's a really good button uh, to have in so let's just give it another go there we go. That's the effects like I said this is a 26 inch blade um, again from galaxy's edge uh, so let's reactivate it's quite an aggressive ignition that if you listen to it very carefully yeah very aggressive ignition obviously this is not progression ignition technology in this blade it's not one of the force effects elites um, so it is like a staggered activation you can see it there staggered deactivation on the LEDs as well the thing with this saber as well it doesn't feature um, a lot of the stuff that the force effects this feature doesn't have smooth swing. There you go. Yeah, and it only has clash effects as well. There you go. So there's no blaster effects. There's no clash effects. There's no door melting effects. There's nothing like that really with this one. It is a very basic saber, to be quite honest with you. Um, for the price, I think it's just about worth it, especially if you're a display collector like I am with things like these. Uh, let me go and just take the blade out. There you go. I think it, in terms of it being on display, it looks perfectly fine for that. I think it is a really nice saber to have on your display if that's, that's, that's your way inclined. But I'm just going to show you this god awful stand again 
I do really think this is, I mean, you've got to, you've got to sort of judge it by the price, I reckon, as well. So price overall, you're getting everything included, a blade, cover tech, um, belt clip, saber itself, and the stand. I mean, fine, I'll take that, but good lord, it doesn't really... Yeah, it's just really flimsy. It feels really flimsy. These arms, these arms feel like they're going to pop out, and they will. All these, all these arms do is just sit in. So when it comes, then they're not included. They're not, they're not stuck in. So you have to squeeze them in, and then hope you've put them in right. So when you go to sit it on, that it sort of slots in and doesn't go anywhere. But like that feels really, really flimsy. When you have to jutter it a little bit, and I. Just from holding it, I can, I can feel the weight is shifting. And it's not top, not top heavy, it's just the weight over all the saber is just too much for this little flimsy piece of plastic that's held on, like very basically, like this pile on here. It's, it's, it's not great, it's not great. Um, and if, God, if you've got this displayed high and this shifts or something, you're in for a world of trouble, I think. But there you go. So that is it, that's the saber overall. We'll do one more activation just from last because I, I, I do actually really like the activation for the Sabre. Uh, it's got its own very unique activation sound. There you are. So, tell you what, bonus, we'll see how much damage I can do swinging it. Oh, God. You see, with that, there's no, there's no swing effects, no swing effects at all on it. It is very basic. No swing effects whatsoever. But there you go. That is it. That is the Mace Windu Legacy lightsaber set uh, purchased from uh, Disney Store uh, over here in the UK. Not affiliated with them, of course, but there you go. Um, so I think all in all, that is a really nice saber to have in your collection. Griev Grievous would be proud. So yeah. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this saber? Um, where do you think it ranks in terms of the, the legacy sabers that are out there, the elite sabers that are out there? Um, like I said, I am I'm quite happy with this just for a display purpose and part of the collection purpose as well. I wouldn't you look to utilize this for, you know, any swing effects or anything like that. I will be displaying it without the blade in. Um, but there you go. Let me know your thoughts on this saber. What do you think? Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and yeah, subscribe to the channel. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts. What would you like to see next? What are you hoping will be revealed next for these these sabers? I think it's been a while since a, a, since one's been released. Um, the last one that came out, I think, was uh, I believe possibly uh, Stellan Gios's cross cross uh, cross guard saber. <laughs> I ain't purchasing that. I'm not paying 370 quid for, for a cross guard saber with no blade and a comic. But there you go. Let me know your thoughts. What would you like to see next? What Which sabers do you prefer? Do you prefer custom sabers? Do you prefer the Force of X Elite sabers? Do you prefer these ones for their basic, simple um, designs and features? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.